Can you tell me about these tattoos now, finally? Of course. Excuse my hesitation before. She reaches over the guard wire and takes the photo, holds it in her hand. For about half a minute, in silence, she wears fingerless gloves. Her fingernails are cut short and fractured, like those of a working woman. Stay quiet and observe the woman's expression. Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly on the photo's surface. She has no excess of emotions for this cadaver. Has she seen dead bodies before? It's likely. What do you think? Uh, sorry. I was trying to see if I can read the web of interdependencies between these points. The stars. She points to one on the photo paper. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body, and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Hmm, places, like vias on a micro circuit? Close. Port cities. This is an Oranese map of the waterways. Ah. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Dolorian century. Over 300 years ago, the sailors That's would cool. mark their bodies to map their travels. What is the use of this map? The sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. This is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. Where is he now? Oh. Uh, I've spoken to him. For now, the soul is fastened inside his corpse. That is precisely what the sailors feared when they drew these maps. A fear of drowning within one's own corpse. Uh, what travels did the dead man make? Quite a few. Vredefort, the Oranese capital, traditionally stands on the right shoulder. He started somewhere near here, I think. She points to it on the photo. Then what? Then he made his way to the Preto Grangi, through what I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. From the Preto, he sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semenese Islands, then this. She points to his heart. What is that? Revachol. Those are the two constants. Redefort on the shoulder and Revachol in the heart. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde, at the dawn of the inter age. The old, old world passing by and the new, new world already here. You said you can't read it. Seems like you can. I can't. This man was no sailor. And these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. Somewhere in an office lit by a single green desk lamp, Captain Ptolemyus Price, 58, bald and bespeckled, is writing in a ledger on his desk. Rows and rows of days and weeks, laconic remarks in a single column. Patrol, case, vacation, injured. In Martinez, looking into Grenell, he writes in one. Mm. Then the man puts down his pen and rubs his temples with both hands. Outside, there is a siren. Distant gunshots on the streets of the Jamrock Quarter. Huh. This man is no brother of mine, but this is his service history. We're connecting it. That makes sense to me. We have no more use Could I for to what we know. Waterways, just like we don't need sailors the way we used to. This is what the custom would morph into on the Occident. Mercenary tattoos. For all the boys looking for an adventure, a blood spatter on the seas. Who could tell me more? His platoon members? The other contractors. Though I do not suggest you go and show them <laughs> that picture. This man was their friend. Yeah. And comrade. Probably not smart. It could go this or the other way. Maybe if you're tactful, it could be beneficial. Do we see him tactful empathy? I need the information. Okay, let's mark it down and ask the Mercs about it. Do what you have to do, Detective Dubois. I don't think deciphering that tattoo should come before public security. But if you should wade into the mob to find out, 
I couldn't stop you. That's all for the tattoos. Thank you for your help. Is there anything else I can help you with? Reality, okay. More lessons in basic reality? Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Well, let's try this conceptualization check. Wait, what is this? Sara Marizian lounge jacket. Yeah, that's a concept, all right. Okay. Wait, we're not wearing our boots. Uh, okay. Let's see. You're back. More lessons in basic reality. <sighs> My favorite part of the day. Go ahead. Ask me anything. I've got three points. I could put one in conceptualization. Well, let's just give it a shot. It didn't change anything. A strange coldness comes over you as you look at the world. The waves sway the sloop slowly. That's all. It's on the tip of your tongue, a doubt of sorts already in your head. But it's not fully formed yet. You have to wait and return to this later, once the jamais vu thought is complete. Okay. Glad to have been of assistance. Okay, so let's... Let's go to here and let's forget about this... Oh, we get plus one conceptualization from advanced race theory. Maybe I don't want to get rid of that. All endurance white checks unlocked. Plus three perception. That's pretty cool. I think we can forget this one. <laughs> And let's start thinking about the jamais vu. Um, temporary research bonus, none. Three hours, 25 minutes. Revishal Special Administrative Region, Le Caillou. The Insulindian Ocean. Coalition Government. Insulindian Mission Command. Name after name and none of them is familiar. They seem real, but something is wrong. You feel like a kid looking at stickers on the fridge. Trouvant. The Apricot Company. World Games 34. You can almost see your hand reaching out for them. Scratch at the corners. See if they peel loose. This feels like the most important of all the thoughts. The one you truly must complete. Let's get it started. Oh. It's interesting that, like, some of these are connected through a line. Some of them aren't. I wonder... Oh, it's just because I had, I had it selected. Okay, forget it. I wonder if that... Hmm. It's kind of neat. I don't know if that has any other meaning. And then uh, we can level up a skill point. I think we use two levels there to um, get rid of one thought and then start another, right? I want to take a look at our checks again. What was the one? It was this, right? This, the one with Suna. I still have to go back to uh, some of these old ones. Oh yeah, and the map wall. Uh, well, no, we, we need to come back. Not the map wall, the... Um, 
need to come back with uh, Kim to the electric thing wall. Suna was suggestion. Yeah, we could level up suggestion. Oh, maybe does it not take um one level to to revert? Con and maybe conceptualization. All right. We could go and do this. Perhaps another mercenary can tell you more about the hanged man's tattoos, so-called scab leader at the harbor gates. Won't count as one of the people informing you about the tattoos, but could be interesting. But then we'll be revealing that we know about. Wait, can I do this check again? You're back. More lessons in basic reality. I can. My favorite part of the day. Let's try Go again. Ahead. Ask me anything. What is yes! all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. What world is this? What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. Fading pearls of her eyes look to the sea. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Great bodies of water. Forest covered surfaces. Clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. She concludes. It must be. This is the greatest and the kindest arrangement the atoms had in them. The best of all possible worlds. Indeed. There is a term of endearment they coined for it in the DeLorean century. When humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is it? Elysium. Elysium. The world needs a term of endearment. It does. There are those who would call it hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates like many such things with the Mesk Petro fascists. Okay, these are terms for the afterlife, right? <laughs> I have this like headcanon that we're not in the real world, right? That we've actually died and we're in, we're in a, uh, 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 like a, we're in some kind of a, uh, well, an afterlife, like, or like a purgatory. And if we solve this case, I don't feel like I've I've got the whole picture yet. Oh, you want a picture of the world? There is no complete set yet, dear. Yep. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. Well, how come? Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, huh. sideways. Inside, sideways. What shape is this world then? We used to think it was a sphere. But that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids, but the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Okay. So the flat earthers are right. <laughs> ORG, Occident Revishol Grad. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark gray corona. A dark gray corona? Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. Ah. There are gray flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. So the pale the pale driver might actually literally be driving through? Huh. Piecing together a dark gray corona. Pale cover 72% of the surface. Of the corona, or? Cool. Oh my god, wait, what the hell are you telling me? 
The pale? And what do you mean, corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. This is wild. I love it. I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. Fractured Corona doesn't feel like it's going to bring anyone together. You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... it's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You well, love it. you say it's disco. See? Everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world. However wasted its opportunities. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. What is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. It is the opposite of reality. Okay, but what is it? A definition? Okay. She the pale these. is the most dominant geological feature of the world, Detective. The separative tissue between the Islers. It is the inter mass. Wait, and what is an Isla? <laughs> Isla is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter. Uh. On all sides by the pale. Also, isolation. Or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. So it's like this, these, these la continent landmasses floating around in antimatter. The pale. Cool. Windy, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this Insulinde. And Insulinde is? An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Muindi is the largest, Katla the coldest, Insulinde the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Perishing and dear. So cool. Okay, what is the pale like? Achromatic, odorless, featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. Is it here? No, detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. Okay. As your gaze instinctively turns north, a small black pit opens up in your stomach. 6,000 kilometers from the end of the world. Yes. That is enough. Many cities are built much closer. And point north. There? An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling. Evaporating, even. A great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapour, marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism. A mould that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's... Uh, the most disco thing you will ever see. <laughs> what are its physical qualities? It's difficult to describe, or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical epistemological, linguistic. The further into pale you travel, so you can the travel steeper the degree of suspension. Into the pale. Right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. 
it may be impossible. So, so is the pail driver actually like transporting cargo through the pail? That's why she's kind of like, she sees the world differently from everyone else, it seems. If we're surrounded by pale, how do you get from Isola to Isola? Yes. Oh, it is so difficult for us. Her lungs deflate. Her words sound like a sigh. A squall of birds. Hardware operating in the harbor. Firm. Self-evident. Squall of birds. Hardware operating in the harbor. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other, shortening the path. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the pale without getting lost or having our minds damaged. Yeah, the pale can damage the mind. Extensively. How? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading, that it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology, maybe history hmm. even. The human mind becomes over radiated by past. Who says and who argues? Uh, okay. The logical positivists say, the dialectical materialists argue. What does this over-radiation feel like? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. It's more for her. Way more. You're not a civilian passenger? No, Lieutenant Dubois. I'm entrepreneurial business class. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Perhaps that explains her strange pining after the revolution. Some degraded early memories. Ah. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. Yeah. The strange gray-haired woman in her lorry. Do lorry drivers pass the pale? Yes. Carried in the hulls of airships. It's a horrific job. Ooh. Automation will abolish it soon. You should ask the pal driver about this. See what she says. Damn right. That poor woman must have stories to tell, like you wouldn't imagine. Are you overrated? Up to my gills, officer. What is entrepenetic? Entrepenetics is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Periconarsians called it the Western Plain. They had not traveled the entire circumference of the Periconarsian Super Isola. It was not merely in the West. It was everywhere, even then, surrounding them. This is where I wish I was wearing my encyclopedia stuff. Did they cross it, the Western Plain? There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. What has entrepenetics changed then? Nothing. We remain powerless before the Pale. The only real advance in Pale Transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Aerostatic craft. Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended. Once you've crossed from near pale to far pale. It's like, it's so weird. This is like space, but also like sea travel, but also something completely different. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely. If we do not? Then they don't. It's like also, and also something like mind, like mind bending, like using your mind to travel almost. Gone like a skipping stone beneath the surface. How much pale is there compared to the world? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is more pale than there is matter. And the ratio is slipping. Slipping how? To our detriment or? 
What do you think, detective? She looks you in the eye. It's shrinking. There's more and more of the world. It's growing. There's more and more of the pale. Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. It's... it's... If it's... the rate's unmeasurable, how... how... If the rate is unknown, how is it measurable? An intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. Uh, let's stay silent. Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organizations, entire civilizations and religions even, find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. I suggest you do the same. Off we go. You see the hanged man's mouth open. Off we go into the wild pale yonder. One and all. They say pale is death, but for the universe... Why should we just leave and leave, and the world get left behind? Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, tell me, detective, is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Um... Sometimes sense vague shadows of a past and it's not good. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale? Sounds pretty terrifying to me. I don't know what Harry thinks. Let me think. Let me see the options. You're right. It's disco. It will end all life. That we continue to persist, persist that all is a testament to our faith in one another. Its advance can only be stopped with immediate total ruthless communism. Okay. Powerful anti com Okay. I'm worried I have to say it doesn't sound very liberal to me. I don't know how you've all survived with it. It's a huge accomplishment. Who am I to think anything of it? The non-committal response. You are right, it's Disco. Mm -hmm. Her eyes tense, crow's feet radiate from them. She observes you, your bloodshot eyes and swollen face. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... She stops from the sentence. I'll handle it, it's under control. This investigation will be my masterpiece. The, only, the one they remember me by, I promise. I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Some of that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, even if we have to do it one basic term at a time. We had a secret task to talk to Joyce about the pale without Kim? Awesome. That's it for now. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything else? Thank you. That's all for now. That was fucking awesome!